Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I wasn't ready to shoot a video, but I've had to do this video to give a lot of you guys a warning. The other week, I received some information from my subscriber saying something bad had happened to his car after he took his car into BMW for a recall. He finally sent me over the photos as he didn't want to because he wanted to see what BMW said first. But obviously, they didn't rectify his fault or didn't help him, therefore, he's now sent me the photos. I'm going to explain to you what actually happened to his car and I'm going to show you what they did, which actually made his car catch fire. I will add all the pictures as we're going along, showing you what it is and talking about it. And I'll also show you the email he sent me so you guys can see I'm not lying about this or what's happened. From what I understand from ringing BMW, they changed this part and they're using a different part and they're fully aware there's a lot of BMWs catching fire right now. This isn't a recall to the, for, for the previous E90s with the heater blower catching fire. This is purely for the E60 only. If you have an E60, I'm advising you right now, do not take your car in for recall if you can see it outstanding because the part they're using will catch fire in the rear of your car. So I'm not going to talk anymore. We're going to go outside to the car and I'm going to show you the part which actually caught fire on this guy and I'm going to upload the photos that you'll see as we're going on the video to see the fire damage that it actually caused and do not take your time for this recall until BMW rectify this issue. And over time for the time that I've lost. Let me tell you about the life of a trap boy really out here trying to kill it. I'm trying to so they flock like pigeons trying to stay low like a midget. I'm really not kidding. OT trips and stinky kicks and my balls are itching. I hit up the petrol station and fill it and I ain't stopping till this pack is finished. Okay guys, so if you'll see here, we're now in the boot floor of the BMW E60. Now, I'm not going to keep this video long because, as I said, I wasn't prepared to do a video today. But it's my job to keep you guys updated and it's also my job to make sure I protect you guys and your cars. So, if you'll see underneath here, that's the battery cable. Now, if you'll see, that's the cover. Now, that cover, BMW issued a recall for because the battery cable can lose its grease, become detached, and they said it can cause a lot of electronic faults because this cable runs from under here, you'll see right there, and goes under here, comes round here, and it actually loops through the chassis under the floor and clips in under the floor of the chassis itself underneath the car. Now, what actually happened here is the guy had that cap replaced for the battery cable, but BMW had changed the cap that they were actually using. They didn't grease it, and what ended up happening is this guy's uh, cable ended up catching fire. Now, from when I rang BMW, they confirmed to me that this has been a common problem, and he's not the only one for his BMW to have caught fire. This is the third case they've had so far in a week, and they've also stated that they are looking at the cause of why this is actually catching fire. Now, bearing in mind, my 60 M5's had it done, my every 60s had it done and I've had no issues. When I asked BMW why these were catching fire all of a sudden, they said they had changed the part, the cap. As you see, is white, it used to be, I believe, black. And they changed also the bolt and the grease they were using. They also said that a lot of their engineers haven't been greasing the bolt either, which is making the contact very hot from the live battery cable, which is causing a fire hazard in the rear. Now, obviously, the poor guy's car who actually caught fire which I believe is one of my subscribers, but I don't know him on a personal level, sent me the information to make you guys aware and obviously the pictures go along with it. But I'm going to show you the state of the car of what's happened. And bearing in mind, you know, these E60s, um, they're not like brand new anymore. BMW could just give you a new one and palm you off. Um, so the guys at a loss as to what's going to happen with his car now, because BMW are the ones that messed it up during a recall. Uh, the guy's got no car, you know, buried in my E6 is only worth three, four, what, five grand at the most, and all E60, it's not an M5. Um, and he's got to get another car at the moment. I believe he's got a lease car, but it's still not the point. Um, you know, he needs to know what he's going to do for another car. And this is disgusting by BMW to be having cars catch fire thanks to their own recall. And it's not even safe for them to drive it. You know, the guy's car caught fire and had it recovered to BMW. But in the same sense, you know... How many more people is it going to take before they realize they're messing up here? This isn't to say everyone's is going to catch fire. So do not sit here thinking and start trying to panic and start trying to jump to BMW, trying to get it changed. They're not going to change it for you. If you've had no problems since you've had it done, you ain't going to get no problems ever. 
This is only applying to anyone who goes in now to have the recall or any of that have just had the recall. I'm telling you to be warned and BMW will probably recall you if you've just had it done to have that battery cable checked because of the fact they are catching fire. So I am giving you guys the heads up and I hope this video helps you. You'll see all the photos linked above and you'll also see the guy's email, which I was completely in shock to even hear that his car actually caught fire from that cable. And if you guys don't know where it is, you'll come here, you'll see this polystyrene and it's protected right under there, as you'll see. Very easy to get to. The things unscrew right there, which are here. They just unscrew by hand. Then you can lift up this panel and get to it and you can check if it's been done. Like I say, it's been done on majority of V60s, but there's still a lot of cars out there, even in the UK, that haven't had this done and advise you not to take it to BMW and get it done. Okay guys, so as you would have seen there, that is the battery recall, as you guys would have seen. I put out a video two years ago regarding it. Now a lot of you would have gone and got it done and had no problems whatsoever. And so have I, I've had it done on all my cars with no problems. But BMW's philosophy, they've probably changed the manufacture of making them parts now, or they've probably run out, so they're probably getting China to make them. They're not safe for use. As I said to you, I rang BMW and they've had other complaints of fires in the car from using this part. BMW's belief is they don't want to spend money that's not needed. Majority of the E6s have been done. There's not many left to do. They're cheaping out because they know the cars are old. They're not under warranty anymore. But what BMW forget is if you have a recall by them and they make your car catch fire, which it didn't have before, and you can prove that reasonable doubt that it was not, wasn't going to catch fire before they installed that and they are the reason why your cars caught fire, you have a legal claim to sue them and you will get more money than what the car's worth out of them for the fact they put your life at risk. Now, I don't know if this guy had his wife and kids in the back, but what I do know is the fire went from up downwards, upwards, and burnt the whole car to pieces. This isn't good whatsoever, and I'm advising you guys not to go through this recall if you do see it come up. If you have any recall in your BMW 60, it will be for that battery recall. Therefore, avoid it at all costs. For now, until I get further information that BMW have rectified the issue they're having. Now, there'll be some of you that won't see this or some of you that will ignore this and still go ahead. If your car chooses to catch fire, that's all on you. I have given you the warning and I'm sure BMW will probably warn you as well that there is a risk of catching fire because they're gonna have to if this is the case to protect their cells for liability so nobody can sue them. Once they've done that, if you choose to go ahead and go and take the recall, they'll make you sign a disclaimer that they will not be liable for your car. So if a lot of you are thinking this is a good way to torture your car to get it to catch fire, to go and get a new car, it's not gonna be a good thing. And like I said, I've already made BMW aware that I'm putting this video out to make you guys aware. Okay, so they're gonna change the whole game now on what they do with this recall. I've told them already to make people sign a waiver so nobody can go back and sue them if they go and do this recall after this video has gone out. So I hope this is gonna help a lot of you guys and I don't wanna keep this video longer than needed because as I told you, I wasn't meant to really be shooting a video today. So thank you very much for watching guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and I hope this actually helps you with this information. Thank you very much and goodbye.